some of my friends and followers were disappointed, even resentful, that I gave up so easily. After all, there were still some reports of electoral fraud that might yet invalidate the unofficial count. Uh, but here was my take on it, on all of this. Yes, there were many supporters and volunteers who, who were still hoping that there was massive fraud and that we actually won. But I've been monitoring the supposed or the reported incidents of fraud and other conspiracy theories uh, moving around in social media, and many of them could be explained. There simply was no smoking gun evidence that pointed to large-scale and systematic fraud similar to the 1986 snap election. There might have been massive vote buying, disenfranchisement, and other irregularities, more than the usual in a presidential election, but I don't think it was in a scale that could alter the results. The results, BBM at 58, DP Lenny at 29, reflected what the surveys from major pollsters, Pulse, SWS, Octa, Lilo, DCRH, and even our own internal survey have been saying. BBM was spot on. Ours even had a surge of about five points. The effect perhaps of our last minute intensive house-to-house -house efforts. Sadly, too little, too late. The false narratives that they had planted in the last decade had taken roots, and it was just impossible to demolish them within the eight-month campaign period. Google Trends was simply trash. <laughs> Bottom line is, it is what it is. Huh? The sooner we accept it, the sooner we are able to overcome our grief and plan what to do next.